Formula One teams have annual budgets of hundreds of millions of pounds, but some of the technology they use can benefit all of us. Take their tyres. In Formula One, they're 100% filled with pure nitrogen instead of normal air to boost performance and reliability. And now this tyre technology is available to all of us from £1.50. So why do they do it and should we all do the same? First, the basics. The air around us consists of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and just 1% of all sorts of extra things like CO2, argon and water vapour. So when we pump our tyres up with normal air, we're mainly filling them with nitrogen anyway. But it's the oxygen part that's the tricky part. Oxygen molecules are small enough to actually pass through the tyre's structure, one of the reasons why our tyre pressures slowly go down. This device reveals this phenomenon by measuring the proportion of oxygen in air. It's clear that the older a tyre, the lower the quantity of oxygen inside it. It's already a lot lower. As nitrogen molecules are bigger than oxygen, they can't pass through the rubber structure, which means nitrogen-filled tyres will maintain their pressure for longer and make it less likely for you to end up driving around on soft tyres that spoil your handling and fuel economy. Filling them with nitrogen also removes another pesky element of air, water vapour. As a tyre heats up under use, its pressure increases and the unknown water content will make this increase unpredictable. As Formula One teams need to be able to predict exactly how much grip a tyre has, this is bad news. Pure nitrogen doesn't include any water vapour, so this fluctuation is removed. To find out if this F1 tech can benefit normal drivers, I've got two tests. One is scientific, the other more subjective. First, the science. This climatic chamber heats vehicle parts to extreme temperatures. 30.0 PSI. After making a note of the pressures of a standard tyre pumped up with nitrogen and one with air, I'm putting them in the oven at 80 degrees centigrade for exactly one hour. The nitrogen tyre shouldn't increase its pressure as much as the one filled with air. Just pop it up there. So the one that was pumped up with natural air has risen from 30.0 to 38.8 psi. And from 29.8 to 39.1. That's a bigger rise than the air tyre. The results suggest that normal nitrogen filling stations, like the one that inflated our tyres, might lack the laboratory conditions of a Formula One pit and don't have either the time or the equipment to actually ensure the tyre is 100% filled with pure nitrogen and devoid of any water vapour. But I still want to know if the type of air inside a tyre can affect the speed and feel of a car. I've got two identical Suzuki Swifts, one with tyres filled with air, the other with nitrogen. I'll drive each for 10 laps and compare how the cars feel and how fast they go. Right, out onto our little test track with the tyres filled with normal air. Oh, great change of direction there with this little Suzuki. It's a fun car to drive, pretty, very good car to do this test because it's so easy to drive near the limit, so consistent in its handling. After 10 laps, I'd recorded an average lap time of 47.9 seconds. Let's see if the car handles differently driving on nitrogen. Well, first impressions, that there's nothing to choose between the two. The balance is the same. The ride quality feels just the same. Change of direction, high speed, the same. This is such a good little car. Well, the test's over. I'm afraid I haven't felt any difference. Not sure about this nitrogen. There was no difference in the lap time either. And again, the tyre pressures rose more in the nitrogen-filled tyres, proving it wasn't 100% pure. 
Yes, it might keep the tyre inflated for longer, but I still don't think I'd recommend it. In any case, it won't prevent slow punctures, and if you're not checking your pressures regularly, you shouldn't be on the road at all. That's 100, we do 145. How much? 150. 155. 158. 158. 158. 162. BHP, it is the fastest VW fan engine you can buy. It has got 400 newton meters of torque, and it is one energetic piece of kit. Pulling out of this corner here, really tight.